everybody. Here I am again. So today I'm doing a collab on the Benefit Hula Light that just launched. And um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a collab with someone who is a different skin tone than I am. And Teresa Porter, her link will be below, came up to bat or took stepped up as they say and said, I'll do it with you. And so she bought the Hula Light as, as I did and she is a much lighter skin tone. So it'll be interesting to compare our reviews and what we think of it. I, uh, it, it is light. I, I, it's very light for my medium skin tone and I am going to be returning it quite honestly. And you know, it's hard. I don't return. Well, I shouldn't say that I do return, but I have no, I have no purpose for it is the thing is, is that uh, it is just too light. It's, it doesn't show up on me at all. And what I did is I am actually wearing it on half of my face. And on the other half, on the other half, I'm wearing Laura Mercier translucent powder as my setting powder. So I use them as my setting powder. And I wanted to start with a foundation that was a perfect match to me, that was attainable to most everybody and that I really liked. And that is, <clears throat> excuse me, the Maybelline Fit Me in Matte and Poreless shade 220. So I love this foundation. 220 is a perfect match for me right now. And again, I think this is obviously attainable to everybody. It's a Maybelline product. You can find it everywhere. And the price point is extremely attainable. Five, six, seven dollars. I don't know. And so that's what I'm wearing as my base. And then as my finishing powder and half my face, I have Benefit Hula. And on the other half, the YouTube Darling Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I took a picture outside. It's overcast today. And when I took the picture, it was bright, but definitely overcast. Not just cloudy, but overcast. And I don't, I'm going to try to insert a photo. I just don't know if I have the tech. I know the software can do it. I'm not, I'm not sure the operator of the software can do it. But I'm going to try to put the picture up that I took and so that you can see in the and I'm looking up at the sky well that looks kind of odd doesn't it so and again I'm wearing it here now I uh, I will tell you right off that this side this side wait let me think this side is the hula side and this side is the Laura Mercier side. I'm a little worried that it is being influenced by my lighting. I have a I have a window in front of me. I have my makeup mirror because it's kind of getting dark out, so I have my makeup mirror on. But on either side of me are regular lamps with regular old-fashioned light bulbs, so they're kind of yellowish. And one is closer to me than the other. So I'm worried that the yellow cast, but in the daylight, if I can insert it, you'll see there's just virtually no, no difference. And so it's hard to recommend, you know, it's one of the box blushes, it's, it's, it, but it's a bronzer. And here you have it. You can see, I mean, clearly, maybe I can bring you in. Oh man, am I getting high tech here. There, you can see this side is warm. Oops, this side is warmer. And again, I think it's, the fact that I've got this light closer to me with the yellow bulb, but there you go. It has, as all benefit box blushes and bronzers, it has a definite scent. This one is florally and powder, not baby powder, but just powdery and not a high end floral. If you ask me, I'm not thrilled. Yep. You know, scent is so personal, but you don't smell it. You don't at all smell it when you put it on. And so there you have it. My review is that it's too light for me. I am an NC30, NC35 in MAC, depending on which product it is. I am generally medium as medium could be. I can definitely go a little darker in Maybelline, and I own it in darker. I think I have 228 and 238 as well. I love this foundation. And I cannot go any lighter than 220. That is that is as light as I can go, but I can go darker and it would be, and it is, I own it and it's perfectly fine. So I, if you are, if to me, if you are fair, porcelain, Casper white, translucent, that would probably be a great contour or bronzer. It's a nice neutral undertone, maybe a, a little bit on the cool side, but really it's a very neutral undertone. 
if you already have, if you're fair to porcelain to very light and you already have the uh, Physicians Light Bronzer or even the regular, even, whether it be the bronzer or the light bronzer, there's really no need to spend the money on the Hoola. It may appear that this one, the light bronzer, is a little bit warmer. You know, and, and fair skin, it might come across that way. Yeah, but they're both very light. I think you just would well, be hardly noticeable unless you find this to be too warm for you. Then this this would be this would work for you. The other one that I just recently bought is the Boots Number no. Seven, so that's kind of an okay price point. Uh, I bought it in maple. It comes in three colors, and again, this just does not come off as a bronzer on me. So that's kind of that. And to compare it uh, to the regular hula which is a beautiful contour shade on me and I can use it as a bronzer there you see the difference and if I put I mean if I really 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 oh I already did this on something else I mean you can I don't even know if you can see it especially once you know if you took your brush and blended it out it's not there whereas the hula even blended out whoops I'm sorry I can't do this backwards forwards in the mirror kind of thing but it still it shows so that's my idea and just so you know I mean you all know that I come from the land of excess when it comes to makeup more is more and even more is even better it's a makeup kind of thing. I do it because I can and I love it and it takes me away from my very stressful profile job, whatever. So these are all my bronzers. I don't know how to show them without it. Uh, whoa! So I don't, you know, I have... Oh, this is a new one too and I not thrilled. I have the new Bare Minerals in medium. It's very orange in my opinion. It's very, it comes on me, it's very orange. So it's very warm. Maybe when I have a deeper skin tone when I start self tanning, but it's pretty, doesn't look that way on the video, but in person it's one of my or, more orangey bronzers. So I hope you enjoyed this. So my opinion is that if you are medium or darker, forget about it even light medium forget about it and if you are very deep to dark this could be one of those very natural highlighters you know no sparkle no sheen it is matte there's nothing at all sparkly shimmery satin nothing so if you have a very 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 deep skin tone this might be kind of an office appropriate classroom you know whatever that it would just brighten to lift it's very soft, it's very finely milled, doesn't kick up a lot of powder. And I used, just so you know, I used a really high quality powder brush. I used one of my Haki Hodos, Haka Hodos. And so I, and I cleaned it very thoroughly in between. And I mean, I really dug into particularly the hula to see if I could get it to really show up. And just, just not happening. What else do I have on today? I'm kind of liking to do that. So let's start with the, I'm wearing false lashes. Did I ever say that? Can you tell? Can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. Anyway, <laughs> these are the Ardell 120 Demi Black. Kind of fun. And then I use the Kiss uh, Strip Adhesive and I use it on the brush. And my technique that's making this all possible is that I brush this on like eyeliner let it kind of get tacky for and it gets tacky fast so I wait maybe 20 30 seconds and then I apply the lashes with uh, tweezers and on they go like butter <laughs> I'm just so excited under my eyes again I have the Urban Decay Mushroom and my concealer is again Maybelline Fit Me in in what I believe sand I'm sorry oh here it is excuse me sand 20 
and the red lipstick today is by Lipstick Queen. It's her silver screen line, which is her premium line, magnetic, very heavy. What a beautiful case. And this is in half Paris. Again, I don't know that it's showing up correctly. This is a corally red. It is absolutely red. If you're looking for a coral lipstick, this is not it. But this is red as red can be. But again, I like to describe which way they lean. And I would say this definitely leans to a deep, 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 deep coral and red combination. Very nice, shiny. Um, very, very uh, smooth to put on. This one, if you have it on long enough, I find, especially if you're drinking something, you'll suddenly get the two little lines of the lipstick that kind of come up from here. So a liner would help or try to not drink while wearing this lipstick. It's not uh, it's not one that I would wear out and about. You know, to the office is fine. <clears throat> grocery store, whatever. I wear lipstick all the red lipstick all the time. But if I knew I was going to be sipping cocktails or lots of coffee or something, I probably would not. Because I get, I don't know. I hope you know what I'm talking about. It's like the lipstick from the cup or the glass moves up. Anyway, so that's that. And then on my lashes, before I applied my uh, my false lashes, I have L'Oreal Voluminous in uh, full definition. Not one of my favorites. I like the regular, just the original Voluminous much better. My eyeshadow primer is Benefit Stay Don't Stray. This is nice. It's very liquidy. It does come with a doe foot. It's opaque so it covers my redness and my brown tea stains and my veins. I don't need a lot of it. It's As I said, it's a wet formula so it spreads very easily and it definitely is opaque. I like it much better than the Too Faced Lemonade which to me is too sheer. Oh, what are some of my other favorites? Of course MAC, Paint Pot and Ochre. But that's just become too drying, I noticed, over the last year. Like, I'm thinking, mm, let's need a little something a little more moisturizing. But anyway, so that's, that was the primer. I told you my finishing primer on this side is Laura Mercier. On this side is the Hula Light. And uh, the blush I have on today is from the Tarte Big Brush Book. And <clears throat> this came out before the holidays. Sold out very quickly. And I am wearing Dreamy, which is this one. And it looks very browny, mauvey, but it's it's definitely a pinky, pinky, deep pink, matte. Yeah, I can't, maybe here you can see the pinkness. Anyway, so I'm wearing that. And then for my shadow, did we do this close-in thing yet? I think we did, right? How close am I? Blended very nicely, I think. It blends beautifully. Is the new Morphe, is this the bronze or the copper? This is the copper one. I, I got them both. To me, uh, I'm not sending them back, but they are dark. Both palettes to me overall are dark. And I, If you follow me on Snapchat, I think I snapped that. But that's just a, it's a dark palette overall. And I don't do dark very well in my small eyes. I just don't. Today I'm wearing, it's a two shadow look. I'm wearing this color. You know, I mean, really, you can almost, don't these all look the same? I mean, they're not, but there's so much similarity in these colors that you're kind of like, I don't know. But they are beautiful shadows. They kick up a little, very little in the pan. They don't fall out at all applying to the eye. They blend beautifully. Uh, but I'm wearing this in the crease, so I blended this out in the crease, and I'm wearing this one. These are foils, and I mean they are foils, and no fallout. And I'm wearing this on the lid. I'm not wearing anything under the uh, brow. That's the Benefit eyeshadow primer that I take from lid to brow bone, and it's bright enough that I don't need to always use something under the brow bone. And of course, my Anastasia brow powder is on my is on my uh, brows. And I think that's about it. So thanks for joining me. Hope this helped. I cannot wait to see what Teresa says about it from her perspective because she's, you know, so much lighter. And uh, I just, yeah, not for me. It just doesn't do a thing for me. Can't, you know, I would, even if I laid it on heavy, it, it just won't show up on me. So thanks, and you all have a good week. And yes, please keep those prayers coming for Vito. Thanks. Bye.